We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So it's time for another episode of Dragon Ball T, okay? So we are officially on the sixth episode of Dragon Ball T. Some mess went down yesterday, honey. So make sure y'all have y'all's teacups ready because I'm ready to spill this damn tea, okay? So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Caitlyn Jenner drama that's going down all over social media. So if you guys don't know, this past Friday on The View, they decided to have Lisa Bloom, who we all know is Black China's attorney, she was on there to talk about the whole revenge porn situation, but this time they were talking to Misha Barton. And what's going on is that basically Misha Barton has hired Lisa Bloom to represent her because she was dating a guy and basically basically come to find out after her and the guy broke up after a year of dating, this man had been filming their very intimate moments, anything that they were doing, he was filming it and it was unbeknownst to her. And now basically he's threatening to release it. So now Lisa Bloom is involved. And so they were on the view to talk about this. And then all of a sudden, honey, Caitlyn Jenner pops up and I'm like, oh, wow, how messy is this situation? We have Rob Kardashian, Black China going through this whole revenge porn situation and how convenient it is that The View decide to have Rob's ex-stepdaddy, honey, come on the show to speak about the situation. So they end up asking Caitlyn Jenner um, basically uh, what Caitlyn thought about the entire situation and this is what Caitlyn had to say, honey. Go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We've had to deal with this, obviously, in our family. I, I don't know the Black China rob thing. Um... Rob was stupid for doing that, and he kind of apologized. But I, I really have not had much of a relationship. I've never met Black China, I've never met the kid. Rob, I haven't really had a serious conversation with in years. Um, so I've kind of been out of that scene. So I really can't comment on what's going on there. I'm surprised but, that, as, uh, that Rob Kardashian would uh, do something like yes, that? Yes, uh, anybody. You got to, you know, guys, I know. I used to be over on that, t on that <laughs> team. Yeah. It can be really stupid, OK? <laughs> and, uh, and do stupid things. And, you really have to, and I've tried to warn my kids, all of them, I got a lot of kids, you gotta pick your friends. Yeah. And it's tough to do, because you could be tremendously deceived, like in so your true. case. Um, you were, you were and it's deceived. not your fault, but you gotta really pick your friends wisely. All right, so you guys just heard what Caitlyn had to say. So basically, Caitlyn is calling Rob Kardashian stupid. Caitlyn claims that Caitlyn has never met Black China, which I know for a fact that's a damn lie. Kris Jenner tried to do the same stupid shit, and when I did the video calling her out on it, a lot of you little Kris Jenner stands tried to come for me, but what, I had receipts, okay? There was pictures of Black China hanging out with Kim, Tokyo Tony, and all of them before Northwest was ever even born. Matter of fact, Black China once again was at Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's wedding with Tyga. How the hell does Caitlyn not know who Black China is? But I digress, okay? So after this interview went viral with Caitlyn calling Rob Kardashian's move stupid and, and claiming to not know who Black China is, Tokyo Tony, honey, heard about this shit. And when I tell you, she took the damn Instagram and she went off today, okay? She was not here for the foolishness. Go ahead and check out this video. Tokyo Tony going off on Caitlyn. Check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hold up, hold up. Did I just wake up to some motherfucking hot, steamy, pissy smelling tea? Did that motherfucking nigga, Caitlyn Jenner, aka Brucey, yeah. Big balls, little dick, him. Look at the motherfucking weedy shorts. This motherfucking nigga, because he's a man, dressing and pretending to be a woman, using vocal cords like, yeah, I, I really like, uh, bitch, get it together. All that money you got, get a vocal coach. Coach. Now I'm finished with your motherfucking ass. How the fuck your stinking ass, nigga? Because you got a dick, nigga. You was born a man. Nigga, you gonna down your fucking son on head and say he's stupid instead of saying something encouraging and you gonna lie and say you don't know black China. Nigga, you was walking around switching in the park with me there, you fucking faggot. Call me, bitch. I got some words for you. Honey, y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Tokyo Tony is not here to play. She is not gonna have no slander on her damn timeline about her daughter or her grandbaby, okay? I just feel like at this point in time, Caitlyn, aka Bruce Jenner, is taking a page out of the Kardashian handbook. Caitlyn is just basically trying to stay relevant, okay? You know, I find it really funny that all of a sudden he's so comfortable being disrespectful and speaking publicly about a stepson that you helped raise. You know, this is the same person who 
who sat out here and wrote a book about this entire family, knocking the mother, knocking the children. But these are children that you helped raise. You know what I'm saying? You spend more time with the Kardashian children than your own biological children. And now every chance you get, you're throwing rocks and hiding your hands. Caitlyn shouldn't have said any damn thing, okay? None of the Kardashians has spoke about this situation. They've all been tight-lipped about it. But then here comes Caitlyn throwing salt and trying to be messy. So the whole situation is crazy. Black China basically isn't saying anything. She posted this video on Snapchat yesterday basically trying to act unbothered. Y'all go ahead and check this out. <laughs> All right, so y'all just saw her video. And if you go onto her Instagram page, she has basically blocked all comments. She's not allowing anybody to come on her page and comment on any of her pictures or any of her videos because people are still trashing Black China because of all this drama. So right now her Instagram comments are null and void. Now in other damn news, it looks like Tyga, who used to date Caitlyn's daughter, Kylie, it seems like he's gotten off his ass and he's went back to work as a full-time rapper. Um, he had a concert last night and from what I see, it looked kind of lit. So it looks like Tyga may be dropping some damn music, okay? Check this out. All right, y'all just saw that snippet of Tyga getting down. It looks like ever since his ass got kicked out that damn Calabasas home, he's finally putting in some work. He's finally going back to the studio and he's finally doing what the hell his profession is, which is supposedly to be a rapper, okay? So it's gonna be really interesting to see if he drops any new music. But this whole situation is a hot damn mess, honey, and I'm here for it, bitch, okay? Will Tokyo Tony ever find a chill? Will Caitlyn ever stop being a petty betty? Will the Kardashians ever speak out? Will Black China ever allow comments again on Instagram? Will Instagram give Rob Kardashian his verified check mark back? Will Tyga drop a hit? Better question, does anybody really give a shit? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball T. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.